Well, good morning, sailors. It's uh, once again, it is a weekend. Uh, it is the 15th of July, Saturday, and uh, SV Ketzel and crew are at Harrington Harbor South, but not for much longer. We're preparing to drop the lines, head out on the bay and head up north uh, towards Chesapeake City. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a bit of a motor today. I think we're gonna kill a whole herd of dinosaurs to get up there. Uh, but it's become way too hot down here on the Chesapeake Bay. And so it's time to try to find a, a more a temperate uh, anchorage, so to speak. Don't know exactly what's gonna happen. We're gonna head up to uh, Chesapeake City. It's a really cool little town on the CND Canal down the Delaware Bay where we'll stage either to head up north, maybe to New York or uh, Long Island Sound, maybe even further. Or if the weather gods don't smile on us, well, we'll just wait there, you know, in Lewis or Cape May and wait for a good, good wind to come along, good northerly wind, and we'll sail back down to uh, Cape Charles. We just want to get some sailing in. So as always, come aboard and uh, don't think you're going to have to hold fast today, but at some point in this uh, little adventure, you'll definitely have to hold fast. Calm, humid, beautiful though as we motored north on the bay. Got five big ships here, waiting to go up to Baltimore, I presume. Always impressive cutting through the anchorage just outside of Annapolis, all these large ships anchored off. And then the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Our mast is 80 feet high, and the bridge is well over, I don't know, 150. It always scares me, though. Lizzie headed up to the bow on Dolphin Watch. Don't think she found any. As you can see here, we were battling a bit of current uh, going up the bay. Probably about a knot, knot and a half. After eight hours of motoring, we tied up at Schaefer's Canal House in Chesapeake City. Just in time. I think we got tied up just in time. And these folks did not. Going on up. Climbing up. Yes. It could be like the t Billy Goat Gruff and the troll who lived under the bridge. Schaefer's Canal House is located on the northern side of the Chesapeake Delaware Canal. And most of Chesapeake City is located on the south side. Uh, unless you can catch the ferry, which wasn't running at the time, the... Uh, you have to walk across this uh, pretty high bridge with uh, a very narrow walkway and a lot of traffic. Our efforts were rewarded with a great view of Quetzal tied up at the Canal House and a panorama of Chesapeake City. Chesapeake City itself is a quaint little town, beautiful shops and houses. We went into this jewelry store that was obviously a bank at one time. We followed the music to the porch of the rum bar where we had uh, basically a private concert with this gentleman playing the guitar. caught the ferry back to our boat. Saved us from the life-threatening experience of walking back. <laughs> it wasn't that You could say you did it. Yeah, we crossed the bridge, but it should be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yeah. Only yes. do it once. <laughs> Thank you. 
early morning departure found us a bit fog bound on the canal. Good morning sailors, SV Ketzel and crew underway. We departed uh, Chesapeake City at about 05 this morning, heading east on the CMD Canal. We're gonna make our way down the Delaware Bay and then to points yet to be determined. This is the uh, CND Canal lift bridge, Conrail Bridge. This bridge has quite a reputation. Uh, a year or two ago, we were passing under this bridge in a different boat. Or we're passing, we were approaching this bridge, and all of a sudden, without warning, it started to lower. Uh, bridge operator didn't respond on VHF. I've hailed him today again, and he has not responded. Wish us luck. Pretty sure this is where Homer Simpson works. So we've just left the Delaware Bay. We've entered the Atlantic Ocean. You've got a strong current flowing out and you've got uh, a slight breeze flowing in. So you got a little bit of uh, wind against current, just a little bit and you can see what that does when you've got a two or three knot current outbound. Motoring along. A little bit of swell coming in, rolling the boat around. Of course, we haven't put up the main, that would help, but this maybe two knots of wind, the main would just slat back and forth and that's not great for the sail. So I think we're just gonna tough it out. It's about three o'clock. All the forecasts say the wind should be picking up to about 12, 15 knots on the beam by around four. So let's just see if all of the various forecasts are correct or not. Probably see where those waves are breaking. There's a shoal. That's why we're heading straight out here. We've got to get around that. Could have taken the inside channel, but with all this swell and current, um, you know, and we're not in a rush. In fact, we're hoping that the uh, wind will start up here in a little bit. But we wanted to get around this shoal. This will take us out to three mile limit. Well, there you have it, folks. After a nine-hour motor from Harrington Harbor South to Chesapeake City and another nine-hour motor down the Delaware Bay. We're out in the big blue ocean and we've got about, uh, I don't know, 10 to 12 knots apparent on the starboard quarter and we're sailing about, about six knots. Perfect. Fine. under sail and it is hot that engine been running for nine hours and it's been hot outside so we opened all the port lights on the high side of the boat and uh, some of the hatches it's pretty calm sailing out there right now so should be okay It's toasty down here. Hoping it'll cool off before it's my turn to take a nap. Got uh, Atlantic City about 25 nautical miles ahead of us. We'll probably get there um, after dark. And it'll be all lit up. That'll be cool. Houston, we have a problem. This pin holds this piece to the mandrel. This, this piece, the mandrel, 
this, this pen is backing out. Well, Houston, we have a problem. I went forward to inspect the rig. You know, we were having, actually, we were having probably one of the best sales ever. We were making about six, six and a half knots in about 12, 12 to 13 knots of breeze on, on the beam, a little after the beam. And I went uh, forward to inspect the rig and just check things out. And there's a pen that holds the boom mandrel, which is the, what the sail, the in boom furling sail rolls up around. There's a pin that uh, holds that mandrel to the gooseneck. And I discovered that the pin was, uh, had uh, come about halfway out of its proper place. And I was not able to push it back in. So we furled the main, because obviously we don't want the boom to fall off. Um, and we've deployed the code zero. And we're making, still making about five knots. Um, wind might be dying off a little bit too, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure this out. Um, probably have to dump the sail onto the deck and take all the pressure off the boom to figure out how to reset that pin. Stay tuned. Well, good morning, sailors. Uh, interesting night last night. Actually, very uneventful. Um, as you will see, as you will have seen in the video, we um, we have an issue with the boom. Uh, the boom, after uh, a second inspection and a consultation with my uh, my rigger, there is no risk of the boom uh, detaching from the mast. However. There is a risk of the mandrel, which is the, um, basically it's a long aluminum pole that sits inside the boom around which the sail furls. There is a risk of that being detached from um, uh, what's called the knuckle or toggle. Um, and that can be problematic. Uh, it'd be you know, challenging if the sail was up, we'd have to drop the sail all on the deck and kind of try to fold it up the best we could. Uh, and if we furl it, um, furl the sail with that uh, pin sticking about halfway out, damage the sail. Anyway, not willing to risk uh, creating an even worse situation, we've decided to stick just with head sails. Uh, so we sailed up into New York, or just outside of New York Harbor, made a hard turn to starboard and we're sailing along the coast southern coast of Long Island. Um, got a nice breeze right now, about 15 knots on the beam, and so the boat's moving well. And we'll just continue to do this as we head for Block Island. Uh, we will have to um, figure out what to do with this uh, furling mechanism. That's going to be something that we have to sort out. Um, if I can't sort it out on my own, I guess I'll pull into Newport and find a rigger there um, to help me out. Well, good evening, sailors. It's around 7 p.m. on Tuesday, the 18th of July, and, uh, we are making good time again under sail. In fact, we'll probably have to slow down because we don't want to arrive at our destination, Block Island, uh, in the hours of darkness. Plus, it's highly probable that tomorrow morning there'll be some dense fog. So we're probably gonna have to slow down. But I think the forecast is gonna take care of that. The weather gods are gonna take care of that for us because this wind, uh, currently about 15 knots on the beam, is forecast to fall off around midnight and we'll probably co ghost along for a while maybe under the uh, code zero but at some point we'll probably turn the engine on and just motor slowly towards our destination had a pretty wicked squall earlier today no take that back we had a squall earlier today wouldn't call it wicked 
a um, little squall, got the boat wet, had to change the uh, course for a little bit. Other than that, all good aboard SV. Still Tennessee. working with just the, uh, the two head sails, no main, pretty much flat water out here, so that's okay. Um, hopefully we will get this furling mechanism in the, on the mainsail squared away once we get tied up to a, or once we get the anchor down or tied up to a mooring ball at Block Island. And if we can't get it done there, we'll head over to Newport and sort it out over there. So yeah, just to, uh, just to summarize the trip so far, we've covered about 230 nautical miles since we departed. Schaefer's Canal House on the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal yesterday morning at about 05. So we've got an average uh, speed of about six knots. A lot of that was motoring, um, but we have gotten some sailing in and this is some great sailing right now. Uh, anyway, uh, it's been a pretty good passage. I would say uh, it's been when we've had uh, sailing, nice sailing conditions, it's been some of the best ever. It's kind of sad that the uh, that we have this problem with the with the boom furler. Um, maybe it's sad. I mean, it's unfortunate because the sailing is so nice. But of course, if we had the main up now, we'd be ripping along at eight knots, and we would definitely arrive in the middle of the night. As forecast, the wind eventually fell off, and uh, we had to resort to turning on the old Yanmar. In the morning, Block Island appeared out of the fog. It was a welcome sight. Well, here we are hooked down in Great Salt Pond, Block Island. It has been a goal of ours to sail up here in New England for a long time. It was a bit of a mission, but we're very glad we made it. Um, it's a pretty nice day, a little foggy, a little hazy, but the sun is out. Very interesting anchorage. Stay tuned for the next episode when we sail over to Newport and try to sort out the problem with the boom furler.